Mr. Miller is one of the great American playwrights and is known for a slew of plays. Death of a Salesman, uh, View from the Bridge, uh, and All My Sons, After the Fall. This is a later work of his and one of the reasons we're so excited about this play is it's not as well known. It's later uh, Miller it was first done in London. It's had a very interesting life. It then took five years before it was done in the United States. And it was done at the Williamstown Theatre Festival in a production that I saw that was really fantastic. It was in 1996. It's now 20 years later. I've wanted to do this play ever since I saw that production of it. And it's Miller in a... It, it will surprise people. It's something... It's, uh, it's funnier than most Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller is not known as a as a comedic playwright, certainly. But this play has some great humor. It has wild characters. It has characters that I think people will really be surprised by. Um, Lyman Felt is not your average, typical fellow you're gonna meet on the street. And neither are either one of his wives. So it's a fabulously written, very interesting work. And it's a chance for you to see an Arthur Miller play that m maybe none of your friends have ever seen. I'm playing the role of Theodora Felt, and um, I've had a very interesting time delving into the life of this woman who is married to the uh, main character in uh, The Ride Down Mount Morgan, Lyman Felt. They've been married for 32 years which is a long time um, by today's standards, I guess. Um, she is a pretty conservative and traditional woman, was raised um, in the Episcopalian church by a, uh, her father who was a minister actually. So she's very, very, very traditional. And there's a lot of things revealed to her in this play that are big surprises and cause her to reevaluate her, basically, I think, her entire life, especially her life with Lyman and their 32-year marriage. I'm not going to tell you what those surprises are, because you'll have to come and see the show to find that out. I'm playing Leah Feltz. Um, it's an amazing uh, role in an amazing play. This person is facing a very extraordinary circumstance, finding out that she is married to a man who is already married. Um, and I think, I think that what the challenge is, is to feel, to find the empowerment inside of that conflict. And there is a lot of a power play, which is super exciting in the play. And, um, and we sort of see these sort of horizons of feminism and also sexism, and it's um, it's it's such an amazing sort of uh, gendered conflict um, that I think it will be an incredible conversation piece for many weeks to come after seeing the show. I'm playing Lyman Felt, and uh, enormous challenges uh, trying to get to the heart of this man who is basically his philosophy is, I guess, to thine own self be true, but the truth that he lives by is one that causes havoc and distress to everyone around him. Um, he has a great marriage to Theodora and he has a great marriage to Leah. And, um, you know, when, when they actually meet, um, all hell breaks loose and his life kind of implodes and he's left holding the wreckage of his own philosophy, I guess, in many ways. I play the part of Nurse Logan in uh, this play, The Ride Down Mount Morgan. And I think the thing that's fascinating about Nurse Logan, who she is the caretaker of the primary character, um, who is in this extraordinary situation that he finds himself in, I think the thing that's extraordinary about the nurse is that she is similar to the audience in that she is an observer trying to figure out exactly what's going on and what the situation is and really trying to find out how she feels about, you know, this man and this uh, situation that he has created for himself and how he's going to deal with it. 
I am playing Bessie Feltz, the daughter of Lyman and Theodora. Um, and it's kind of interesting to play this character because um, she's like, you really get to see how everybody's affected by uh, Lyman's decisions, and you kind of get to see almost like this juvenile um, representation of it, like uh, how a child is affected in the situation. Um, and it's kind of interesting to go through their life and to see uh, happier times and then to see the ultimate um, kind of demise of it all. And uh, I just think that Bessie's a really um, great representation of that. So yeah, it's been really interesting to play her and to kind of see everything unravel.